Welcome back, guys. It's on Gaming. We're playing another match of Pox Nora. It's a free to play collectible ish game. Collect runes and not cards. Um, so, last time, my one of my very first matches, I played a couple more. I've gone through all the walkthroughs. Um, <clears throat> and I'm playing a beginner campaign. Slightly harder. This one looks very similar. It's just a two font map. Looks like they start with the advantage, so they have a guy up here, and I do not. So the the uh, team I'm playing is a psychic team. They get bonuses off the more psychic guys I have in play. They can amplify each other's damage, and they can do neat psychic things like uh, pump people up, stun people, move people, um, just cool stuff like that. So let's see. It's a pretty good one to start with, but I do need a guy. You know what? This guy's gonna be pretty bad. We're gonna go with this and this Marsh Song, which will give me for the next 10 turns for 30 Nora. For the next 10 turns, it gives me 10 Nora. So essentially, it nets you 70. It's pretty good. That should make up for the. After a couple turns, it'll make up for the difference that they are getting that advantage of having a unit and being by their font. So, let's get going towards ours. I should have started closer. So, what can we make? That guy's pretty good. Six speed, six speed. One defense, longer range. Yeah, this guy's definitely better. He's got higher damage, longer range. Just all around better. That's it, in turn. So what's our enemy up here doing? Summoning a couple little dudes around his font. It's okay. Take care of those. What's this? Mindbreaker. Ooh, what was that ability? Shadow spawn. Comes in and place stealthed. Not too bad. Well, we are going to go with, I think this guy, it's cheaper, what's Punish do? It deals damage to a champion with basic attack, the champion loses all AP and loses life equal to the AP lost. So that's interesting. Actually. Yeah, we're gonna go with them, why not? That's it. Slow few turns to start out here. Also, the neat thing about this Marsh Song that gives me some extra Nora is that it, when it cools down, which is pretty quickly, I can reuse it again. So I can start building up bigger and bigger bonuses. Alright, so we don't have a lot this turn. We're just gonna cast our Spirit Altar. Pump all of our guys. Three to six. He's close to being able to attack that guy. First blood. Kind of. Okay. And this dude will keep marching over here. So now we got that font. I could cast one of these. This is a poisonous effect. This makes things that are near their font take damage. It's not too bad, actually. We'll use it. Did that hit my guy? No, just enemies. So we got a little damage off there. 24 damage. Pretty cheap. Uh oh. What is that? That's no bueno. Seemed like a good spell for them. Kill my 
guys up. Do your job. This guy is going to be my defender. That's it this turn. Wow. Everyone's taking damage. Oh man, they took out my font. This guy, when he gets hit, he becomes uh, basically insubstantial. It's pretty sweet. He's gonna be damaged by magic. And now he's back. He can go to work. his font, so let's get right there. So within six spaces. Let's do... What's this? Sonic damage. Champion takes damage, becomes stunned too, has negative two defense, can't move, attack, use abilities, blah 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 blah. Pretty good. Put a second one of these guys up. I like that guy. He's a very good defensive unit. He can't attack, but he always does damage. Can't control it, but they do good damage. In very long range. We just want to kill this little guy off, take over the font. I think it's worth it. Pick that up next turn. Poisonous fumes. Can't hit where we'd want it. Hmm. Might as well throw that on him. In turn. He amplifies my psychic damage by 20%. here soon. That's it. In turn. These guys are just protecting and taking away. Ooh. Big angel. Can you hit him? Not quite. Move a space. Attack. Poison. Attack. Sneak up here. Should 
Sure, let's cast this guy. It's called Almsgiver. You should heal someone when he comes in. Or not. Whatever, we'll heal with them next turn. These guys just march on up. And that's it. In turn. Closing the net on him. We got the Nora advantage massively. Get a bunch of Nora. Bunch of. Oh, oh. Oh man, excuse me, a bunch of Nora each turn, which is our cash. So we're just going to outproduce them very quickly and swarm them over. Tomb of Arcanus. Dude gains a, gains a rank in wizard. The guy's not a wizard. He's a lawyer. Poison the angel. Poison, she's at three hit points, she'll die on her own next turn. So I'll just pound on the wizard. Or the angel, not a wizard, it's a warrior. What am I saying? Smack that girl. That's pretty cool because he does poison four. This guy seems interesting. Let's pull him out. And another? Alright, well. This guy too. A botanist again. The enemy's getting too close to me. And wait, he only took one poison? Oh, that's disappointing. I thought he was gonna take three and die. It's okay. Zap zap. Here it comes. Surprise attack! Zap. Wow. Wow. Triple damage and cost plus one AP. Triple damage on 12. Wow. Plus that bonus. Alright, you cannot attack anyone. You finish that up. What's he do? He hallucinates. Successfully attacks champion, or is successfully attacked by champion, gains wandering. Beginning of your turn, this unit moves two spaces randomly towards your enemy shrine or avatar. This unit cannot spend AP on movement for three turns. Wow, so if they're melee, which this girl basically is, they're pretty uh, SOL. Summon some dudes and just finish going to town here. I oh, couldn't summon on him. Put it on him. Whatever, whatever. She's dead. Close the nets. It. Hoots, 
spider, spider uh, goo at me. That was it. He must have been the avatar. I really wouldn't pay attention. <laughs> but if you destroy the enemy avatar, which they can make out of their base, you destroy their base. It looks like we did. So that was a victory easy. We got some bonus gold, 206, bringing our total to 943. I did spend 400 of it to buy a couple starter decks, cheap ones. So that'll wrap it up for this episode of Pox Noir with Ankh Gaming. I'm still learning the game, so forgive me if I stink. I'm going to try to get some more runes through some gold, figure all this stuff out. Build a more customized deck. I'm not a big fan of this one. Uh, it's got a lot of range between you guys, but not very interesting units. I'm going to get some more interesting figures. So if you played the game or have any comments, suggestions, tips, advice, you want to show me the ropes, play some custom games, teach me stuff, hit me up on YouTube. Uh, I do check my messages and comments pretty much daily, and I do my best to respond to everything, which doesn't take a lot. I don't get a whole lot of comments, so start commenting, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Out.